Today we're masking my absolute favorite. I'm going to show you how to use masks to create one of the best transitions you can use in your projects and it's called the split cut and it looks like this. How cool is that? Imagine using that on one of your next projects where you've got family members or something which transition from one family member to another or better yet, you've got some kind of war reenactment going on in one of your towns close by and your video and stuff and you've got cannons going off and it opens that to guys in red coats and muskets. <laughs> oh yeah, this is really cool stuff, right? Now a bit of a heads up here because I'm going to show you how to use two masks on one video clip. Now if you're new to masking or you're a little bit rusty, don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm going to show you step by step how it's done. And I'm going to give some pointers where problems may arise. Now I'm also going to show you how to create a little line across where the split starts. And I'm, now I'm keeping mine in black so you can see it, but I highly recommend you use a complementary color from your video. It just enhances it, takes the next level, it looks it look very professional. And don't forget to add a little sound file on the bottom just to make your video pop. Now I'm using the latest and greatest powder. <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face saying that. <laughs> now I'm using the latest Power Director 365, uh, so my masking design is going to look a little different to yours if you've not updated. But if you're using an older version or a previous version of, of Power Director, don't worry. Um, I kind of remember where everything is, so I'll just put I'll, I'll just put point to that. Hopefully you'll be able to follow along if you want to try this out. You know, that, that's enough of me rabbiting on what we're doing. Let's open up Power Director. Let's create some masks. <laughs> so I've started a new project. I'm going to go to my stock media for the two clips that I have been using in the past previous tutorials because I like to reuse assets. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to drag it down onto track two. Now, the reason we have it on track two is because we're using transitions, so what it what it reveals will be on track one. Now I'm just going to cut this away. I don't want all this video clip. So it's just going to move out of the way about there. I'm going to press Ctrl T on my keyboard and then just delete that last bit out. I don't want that. Now you can see here on the right hand side on our preview window, it's about 11, 11 seconds, eight frames. So let's just bring that back into five. Zero five, I'm gonna tap zero five on my keyboard and press enter. In fact, we can get rid of the frames as well. We don't need those zero, zero. So in our current time, we've got five seconds, zero frames. Guy is here walking in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mask this. So make sure your video track is selected. Click on edit. Now, if you've got tools here, you can click on tools or edit. And here on the left hand side on this list here, you'll see here somewhere masking designer. Now, because I'm using the latest version of PowerDirect, I don't have that. My mask is right at the top, which is going to look totally different to yours. So I'm going to click on mask and I'm going to go to advanced. Now, this is still going to look different. All your information will be right here on this left hand side. So just follow along from here on yours if you're using an earlier version. I'm going to click on custom and I'm going to go on this polygon, create a custom selection mask. So in yours, if you're early version, create custom mask here. I'm going to click mine here and we start this mask right here with a red marker. We're at exactly the five second point in our current time here on the bottom right of our preview window. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a mask on this. Now we, we need to change this zoom it out a little bit so here on the fit bottom right change it to 75 percent like so so it zooms out so we've got the polygon tool creating home custom mask go to the top left hand corner of our video clip here about a centimeter out on the diagonal click a point on the bottom diagonal it's about a center out click a point and the bottom right same thing on the diagonal about a centimeter out click on a point and close it up by clicking back on the first point right here. And there's our mask. We've got a nice keyframe here at the five second mark. Now we need to alter these points. Now to do that, if you just move your mouse over it, 
your mouse pointer changes as you grab the, the, the point. If your mouse goes like this and you see a plus sign on it, that means you're going to be adding another point. Don't really want to do that today. So just make sure it goes any different and just move it around. And so you just go over a little bit of the corner of your video clip. See, like something about there, because they don't need these to be precise on the corner. Do the same for the top one here. That one's looking actually pretty good as it is. I'm going to leave it about there. We don't need to do anything with the bottom left hand one, but I'm going to move it just to give it as a nice proper triangle. <laughs> okay, so we've got our keyframe, we've got our mask. How do we get a mask on our beginning? Just drag this keyframe here. Left mouse click and hold it and just drag it all the way to the beginning like so. There's our first keyframe marker, our video clip at the beginning. Go to our current time on the bottom right in the second numbers and type in 05 and press enter. And here you see now it's changed here. Now go onto our timeline and our mask one, right click and duplicate from previous keyframe. So now we've got two keyframes that are exactly the same. See that? Perfect. Now, now we want to move this, animate this. So on the first numbers on the current time mover clip, this is our frames. I'm going to click on 10 and press enter. So we've got 10 frames ahead from our second because of 25 frames per second. It's about just a little under halfway, right? Right click again on our timeline here, duplicate from previous keyframe. So we've got three keyframes and they're all the same, the same position. And all we need to do now on this last keyframe here is drag that little red dot you can see right in the middle of your, of your mask. Put your mouse over it, see it changes. Left click and hold and just drag it down. Now I've got snapping activated, which makes it go like that. So that might be a bit of a problem if it's trying to just, just drag it down to the bottom left hand corner like so. And you can test it just by dragging the playhead along like so. You can see it, it moves like so. Great stuff. Now make sure that we're on the last keyframe at the 5, 10 second mark because we're going to create, create another mask. So make sure we're here on the last keyframe. You'll need to create another mask somewhere down here. I have this little plus sign. I have another mask turned up now and it's green. Now you'll notice that the keyframes have disappeared from mask one and that's because it's not selected. You can still see it here, but it's not selected. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some more points, but this time we're going to do it on the top part of the video. So ten, a centimeter out on the diagonal from the top left, point top right, a centimeter out and the bottom right, a centimeter out like so, and close it off by clicking back on our first point. So let's drag these points around just so that they go just slightly over the corners like that. That one actually is absolutely perfect. I'm not going to change that. Let's make our triangle <laughs> nice and straight. So now you go onto the mask too, you see on the timeline, drag that its keyframe and drag it all the way to the beginning like so. Click on your current time on the second marker. 05, press enter, mask to track here, right click, duplicate, and do the same again on the 10 second frame. Let's try that again. <laughs> it's not going. Let's try again. There we go. <laughs> okay, and then right click on our mask, duplicate from previous keyframe, and now we move this one out to the top right. See? So it's last keyframe, grab that little green ball and drag it out like so. And you just drag your playhead along and you'll see both masks moving in. See? Brilliant. Very nice. Click on OK and test out your video. And you'll see that it runs along, guy comes in and it splits. Brilliant. Now, when it splits, you can see that the it's very sharp edges. I don't want those sharp edges. I don't actually like that. So I'm going to show you how to how to change that. And also, if your video, you can see a black line here where the two masks are not joining correctly. 
I'll show you how to fix that as well. So let's go back into our mask designer here. Go back to 75% to fit it into the window. Make sure your first one is first clip is chosen and make sure you're at the beginning of your video clip. Now, if, if it's not lined up properly, you can actually gra drag these, grab that little thing and just move it around like this. See, so it just covers it's just overlapping a little bit there. Now, if you actually move this on the first keyframe, don't forget that the second keyframe you'll need to right click and duplicate from previous keyframe because you'll have changed this keyframe, but you won't have changed this keyframe. So if you change these, don't forget to redo these again. These last ones are not important because they're going to zoom out anyway. So it's just these two. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of the hard edges and we're just going to feather radius it. So I'm going to radius this to five and the mass two to five, like so. Now, when you radius, feather radius, it adds it to the whole clip. It, it doesn't do it anywhere else. It, it'll be feather radius, so it doesn't matter where you are on your timeline. It, it's actually feathered the mask itself, so don't worry about that. Click on OK and go back and have a look and you'll see now here I've got this little black line I can see that means that it's masked it well now if you get this like kind of a blur bl gray line that means you're still missing the masking so go back inside and move your masks over so that it reduces so you can get rid of that marker there if it turns up so let's just drag it along and see as soon as it gets to the five see Look at the lines now. They look they, they look much nicer because we've, we've got that little feather on there. Brilliant. So that is our masking setup. So now we need to bring in our second video clip here. I'm going to bring this one in. I'm going to drop it down onto track one. And all you need to do now is just play it and you'll see it work brilliantly. Perfect. Look at that split cut transition. Very cool. Let's enhance it a little bit. Let's bring in our little black line that we're going to create here. Now this starts at five seconds, our split, right? Zero five. Let's put it there. So as soon as we go after the five, you see it starts to split. So what we want to do is we want to bring in our little white little line that we, black line that we're going to cut here we, we're going to bring it in five seconds or five seconds five frames before so that we can give it some opacity so we drop the opacity down increase the opacity so when it gets to five seconds the opacity is at full and drop it out so let's take this five seconds back so we can click here on our go to previous frame or by pressing our I think it's a dot or comma. I think it's the comma on your keyboard. Comma goes backwards, your full stop goes forwards. So we're going to go back five frames. Because we're at five seconds, 24, five, 20, uh, 20, see, 420, five frames, it makes it five seconds. That is exactly where we need to be. So let's bring it in our line. So here in our my media on the left hand side, you'll see color boards. Click on color boards. I'm going to use a black one and just drop it down. Now, as I mentioned earlier, use a complementary color for your video. See, this has got some gray, so we'd use a darker gray or a lighter gray. That would be nice. I'm going to drag the black one and drop it down onto track three, and I'm going to so it snaps there where the line starts. And you'll see as I keep my mouse hold over it, you'll see it says starts at 420 and it ends at 920 on there. So 420 is exactly where we want it to start. Now on the current time frame here now, you'll see it says 00, zero because we're on this keyframe here. It's starting at 00, zero, but actually it's starting at 420 where our clip is. And we need to change this now. Now if you've gone full view on your preview window is like this it's mine's fit now if i click on this and go to 75 percent like we did in the masking for some reason it gets bigger like so i don't understand why it does that so go to 50 percent and you'll have a little bit better <laughs> better option so make sure our, our black color body selected drag the left and right points out just to give us some 
real estate on our picture here on our board and drag the top one and bottom one so they come down now I've got snapping of course so I'm gonna drag it just slightly above that bring the bottom one when it snaps drop it back down yes it's a big fat line at the moment but don't worry we'll change that in a moment what I want to do is I want to rotate this so go to the end and your mouse will change and you'll see as you move your mouse around it'll change mine goes like this so just left mouse click hold it and turn it until you get it like that so it's matching now our clip now let's change this so we get a little bit thinner line so while it's selected double click go to position and size so you'll see here on your if yours is different it'll say position and size and you'll need the scale position here on the last one right here we're going to change this and we're going to go down all the way down to 10 so it's going to be 0 0.010 i'm going to use my keyboard because it's faster for me like so and press enter and there we go a nice little black line we need to change its opacity now now this is starting at 420 so we need to keyframe this so go to keyframes open up clip attributes and go all the way down till you see opacity right here see that we're going to add a keyframe using this add remove keyframe click it once because we're right where we want it to be at the beginning of our clip here we're going to move it five frames forward so click here or press period or full stop on your keyboard two three four five add another keyframe like so and do the same again you can use this button click it five times or your period or full stop on your keyboard one two three four five add another keyframe so we've got three keyframes now on our opacity so the last one and the first one change the opacity slider to zero all the way down use this little arrow here go to the first one and change its opacity down to zero and what happens is of course we can still see it here but what happens is now it'll come into view and it will go full color as it splits let me close that down click on this bit so you don't see that that marker there let's set it back to the beginning and press play guy walks in and we get this little black line turn up and there you go <laughs> oh, brilliant clip right let's run that back a little bit so we can see it working there we go it's coming back in and there you can see it's starting the opacity coming and we get that full black line right there and of course if it was a complementary line it would be nice a nice gray or a, a white one now you could actually add two of these and th they would follow your mask if you wanted to get really expert at that that is a really nice effect as well and that is our cut now we need to just change these up a little bit so let's click on this back to the beginning i'm going to drag along here like this so you can see this a little bit better you see so here on our little line that we have it goes up and down and then it that's it we don't need all this extra real estate here so just drag it from the end as the mouse changes drag it all the way back like that and that'll just end it there we don't need that any extra stuff on that see that goes like that and it's done perfect let's bring in a sound file because we need some sound um actually i have my media i have a sound file i'm going to type in here cut i already downloaded one moving move knife on cutting board i'm going to drag this down onto this where my little black marker is and i'm going to just change it so it got matches just before so it just ends let's try and get that a little bit better make sure we click on it there we go and ends right there that's it so we get this nice sound as it cuts let's make it nice and easy to see i'm going to start it from there because you don't want to watch the whole thing and there you go and it cuts <laughs> brilliant and that is how you do the split cut transition let's run it from the beginning just so we can see how it goes along brilliant i hope you give it a try follow along with those masking ideas you can do all kinds of things with this effect with the masks it's great fun subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video tutorial don't forget to give us a like ring that bell you know the usual stuff that's my rant for today have a great day stay safe people